Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of my tutorial part. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to build a disco coaster. Now the disco coasters are a ride type that's uh, made by Zamperla and you can find them in uh, a lot of parks. There's def uh, several different variants of the of the yeah of this ride type. Now um the ride type that I typically use to create a disco coaster is the hybrid coaster. Now, um, there's two variants of the track. Uh, well, there, I believe there's another one. Uh, but yeah, I will just show you uh, how to make uh, two of these variants. So there's the uh, normal disco layout. So that goes something like this. So this is the uh, normal disco layout. And what you would do here is uh, you would take a rotor drop vehicle Let's change it to one train and we'll put it to power launch passing station. Um, let's put it to 49 kilometers per hour. That should be enough. And number of circuits, uh, I'll change it to uh, four. Let's, let's put four. Uh, we'll need an entrance and an exit. They're usually on the same side. Uh, well, at least on the ones where, where I've been on. And basically the vehicle just gets launched uh, back and forth. Uh, several times. Now there's actually also uh, custom vehicles that people have made for this ride where the vehicle will actually uh, rotate with uh, with the track but since we're using the rotor drop vehicle here that, that doesn't actually have sprites for this so it won't actually uh, yeah it will stay level. Now um, this is the normal disco but the variant that I usually make in my parks is the disco coaster. So um, for that, I'm going to modify this track a little bit. Now I will keep the station two tiles because that will make it easier for me to make the entrance and exit for this ride. Now to make the disco coaster, we're just going to build up here a little bit. Then we'll go up two tiles. That should be enough. Here we'll go uh, flat. Now um, I usually make this one or two tiles. Uh, how long you make this uh, section on top here is up to you. I think I'll just make it uh, one tile long. And here we'll go. Um, we'll go two down and we'll go horizontal again. I'll just make this section as long as the station here. And then here we'll go up again. And in the end, uh, I'll go vertical. Now I'm just going to um, uh, raise the land under this a little bit. Yeah, so it looks a little bit more the same on both sides. All right, let's uh, work on making the ride functional now. Uh, let's see, um, I'll just give it an actual entrance and exit. Um, what I think we can do is actually uh, move the entrance into here. Actually, uh, I want to have the entrance over here and the exit over here, because that will make it easier to make a queue. So um, it, for moving the entrance and exit, uh, we're in Tile Inspector now. Uh, I'm gonna hold control, select the entrance, I'm gonna copy it, and then we'll paste it here. And then we'll press make usable, so now this is the actual entrance of the ride. And this one uh, we can delete. And I'm gonna hold control, select the exit, I'm gonna copy it, paste it here. This one will remove, and this one will make usable. And then um, we can make a queue for this uh, ride. Now uh, for now, I'm just going to make a quick queue and later uh, I'll make it uh, more pretty. Now uh, what I actually like about the, these rides is that uh, you'll get some free path interaction uh, whenever you build one of these. Uh, you can just uh, build a path under this uh, high section. And that's something which you uh, quite often see on the real installations of this ride as well. Okay, um, I think we can keep using the same uh, settings for this ride. So the launch speed, I'll, I'm going to put it at 49 km per hour. Four circuits, uh, or we could even put five. Now, if it all goes correctly at the first launch, it shouldn't have enough speed to actually make it up the hill here. Then it uh, rolls back here. And on the second launch, I think it uh, should just make it over. So let's give it a quick test. You can see it uh, moves back on the track now. 
goes partly up the spike and in the second launch it should just make it over. Now it goes up the forward spike and it should still have enough speed to make it over here. I think with the uh, believe with guests the vehicle is a little bit heavier so then uh, it should have uh, more speed. Alright, uh, I think this uh, looks uh, good to me and you can give it more circuits uh, if you want. Now I'm going to quickly recolor it a bit. Okay, yeah, I quite like this color scheme. Now um, next thing I'm going to do is uh, for the station style, just let's set it to no entrance. So this part's invisible. I'll make a nice uh, building around it uh, later. Now um, if we look at the stats, um, they suck quite a bit. Uh, they're pretty low. So in the right vehicle editor plugin, I'm going to select edit right here. We'll freeze the rating calculation and then we can change it to whatever we want. Now I write like this, it uh, can be pretty nauseating. So I'm going to increase this a little bit. Uh, intensity can also increase a little bit and we'll definitely want a bit of excitement for the ride. Okay, uh, now the ride has some decent stats. So uh, now I'm not going to open it yet because I still want to do some work here on the queue. Um, yeah, I'm quickly going to make this uh, queue line look a little bit nicer. Okay, I think the queue looks a little bit nicer now. Just put a little bit of foliage next to it, put some lamps on the queue and I made it meander around a little bit. Now, uh, these rides have pretty good capacity, so uh, you can afford to have a nice and long queue for these rides. Also depends on how many circuits uh, you do, of course. The more you have, uh, yeah, the less the throughput will be. Now, um, I'm now just going to make a simple building uh, around the uh, station. Now, um, I will just make a simple building here on one side, just to cover this area up a little bit. Okay, for this uh, station building, I just quickly put something together. Um, yeah, when you build one of these rides of your own, you can uh, make this building uh, or station however you want. Uh, you could also have it in open air. Um, yeah, it's just whatever you prefer or how you want the theming to be. But yeah, um, I built uh, a disco coaster in almost every big park that uh, I make, since they are so easy uh, to build. So uh, you shouldn't have any trouble uh, fitting it into whatever theme you are uh, uh, yeah, using. Now, um, something which you'll probably also want around this park is a bit of a fence or a safety zone. Usually this area right uh, around the ride is uh, fenced off. So uh, I'm quickly going to do the same here. Alright, this area, and uh, well, at least the lower parts of the coast are now fenced off. And yeah, I think uh, we're now actually ready to open the ride. So uh, let's do that. Let's quickly give it a nice name. Okay, uh, I did, did a bit more decoration around the ride. I also decided to connect up the path here with the path over here. Because I was not sure if guests who are over here would actually uh, be able to find their way to this ride. So with this path here, that's now a lot more simple. Now, I think uh, that's really all there is to building a disco coaster. Um, yeah, they're really easy to build and uh, you should definitely be able to fit one in your park. Okay, to finish off this video, I'm going to put one of my patrons in the park as an entertainer. All right, Alex Harding, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. It's truly appreciated. And I hope you uh, enjoy your spot here on the top of the disco coaster. And if you're watching this video, you also want to support me and my channel. Uh, you can find a link to my Patreon channel in the video description. The support is really appreciated. All right, uh, this video should help you uh, build one of these disco coasters. If you uh, learned something in this video or if you just enjoyed it, 
uh, please like this video it would really help out my channel uh, i would love to hear in the comments what you think of this tutorial and if you want to see more of these videos you can always subscribe to my channel all right now it's going to be it for this video hope you enjoyed it. i'll see you again in the next one see you later mm -hmm.